Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is the review of the Make Toys Master Series MTRM02N, the end version, Gun Dog. Yes, this is their uh, Not Hound, and it's really great. It does have a few problems, which I'll get into, but otherwise, man, classic Willie's Jeep Hound, loaded weapons on the back. Yes. So anyway, rubber wheels, you can hear. All right. Anyway, let's take a look at the box it comes in. So you got to look at the Master Series. You got to look at Hound right there. There he is in his robot mode and Jeep mode. On the side, you got a little shot of the body. On the other side, got a shot of his head. On the back, you see a couple things that the figure can do. And he is, you know, very poseable. Lots of great guns on him. Anyway, just an awesome, awesome figure all around. So let's go ahead and bring him back in. And check him out because look at that now this one is done in the tune colors there is a version that comes in more of the toy colors and I I was torn on to get that or not my buddy Jefferson was like get the one with the uh, with the toy colors but I, I kind of like this but anyway because I don't like a lot of die cast but man the the silver is really good I kind of wish that was a translucent plastic instead of just silver you got the uh, little mirrors here which seem to be down a little bit or too far up yeah, you got the seats here, loads of guns on the back that do tilt up and down. That one does. The missile launcher does as well, just not very far. You do have his gun over here. You can turn that over for a little bit more clearance. Let me just go ahead and get him on the table here. You can turn this over for just a little bit more clearance. That way you can kind of get a little bit more angle out of it, make use of that joint. You got the seats inside. You actually have a little console with a steering wheel it does not turn it doesn't tab in very well either but it does you know kind of stay there for what it is uh you can see his legs underneath you can pretty much see the bottom half of his body there yeah the mirror the uh <laughs> the mirror the windshield does go down just like it would on a classic willie's jeep but yeah now here's where the problem with this toy comes in it's a little too big because here's a dotson <laughs> And if you've ever seen a Willys Jeep, you know that it's not that big. It's a little bit out of scale, which is kind of weird because the uh, the Hellfire they release, it's perfectly in scale. And this is not. Now, it, Hellfire did come right after this, so I guess here he is with the Beetle. It's a little bit out of scale for my uh, substitution of Prime. Here's Ultra Magnus. So, yeah, a little big on the Jeep. And it's it's... Yeah, it should be just a little bit smaller than that. But it's cool because I'm not going to display him like this all the time anyway. He's, he's always pretty much going to be in robot mode for me. Got a little steps here, which are going to fold up. But yeah, got a wheel and a gas can on the back. So he's loaded with accessories, which I'm going to take off so that you can kind of check him out. He does have his wheel, which is rolled just across the table. It has a couple of connection po points here. Cl uh, Got a silver star there in the middle, and it is that same rubber material that the wheels are made out of. You got one gun, which you know looks like a mounted machine gun. You can angle it down and turn the handle around if you want to actually put this in his hand, which he can kind of dual wield a little bit. Can't a little bit, he can dual wield. Uh, he does have this classic gun here, very nicely done. I didn't really, I, I mean, I don't like chrome as much, and a lot of these parts came in chrome on the other version. And he does have his shoulder mounted missile launcher, which it does pop off, but you know, it's it's almost holding this part together. If you didn't notice, there's a lot of separation there. So yeah, I'm probably going to end up gluing this on because I don't like how it comes off. I, it may have actually meant to be glued on. Maybe my glue wore out or something, but yeah, I don't want to lose this bit, so I'm gonna end up just gluing it right after this, probably right after this video. Anyway, now we're just left with the Jeep. Oh, and I'm sorry, you do get a little gas can here, which looks like it's hiding some missiles underneath there. You can kind of mount this on his arm or as an ammo pack for the gun, so I kind of like that um, little add-on feature there. But anyway, so there you have a stripped down Willie's Jeep. Very nice looking, very nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin the transformation. First thing you want to do is take these bits and get them out of the way. Just pull them straight out so they're like that. and this one as well move this out of the way a bit and then just pull this whole section up because it's going to tab into those two tabs right there 
and then we can get that out of the way. Now, take the back bumper and just kind of angle it down. See what I did? I kind of took that apart there, and I don't like doing that, but <clears throat> this is what the instructions tell you to do. But you want to bring that down. Take the back half. Well, no, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself here. The reason I pulled this up is so that I could get to these. Now, here's where things get a little dicey with this guy. He's tabbed in right here to this front piece, which is actually connected to the arms. He's also tabbed in into the white part of the leg. And so you got to kind of wiggle this one down first and then pull that one out of there. He actually tabs in here and this slot here has a tab and a slot on the other side. So getting this in here when you're putting it together is kind of a pain in the butt because you're just like trying to angle these together and then push this one out so that you can fit it down in there. And sometimes you don't get the leg straight and you have to really fiddle with this thing. And I don't like that part of this. See, you, you got to kind of angle things and make sure that this pegs in here. So that could have been done better. I mean, three different connection points for just this piece and eh, maybe too much. Anyway, so bring that down out of the way. Same thing with the other side. And there, that's probably the worst part of this transformation, the one that I hate the most. Now, you can take the leg, well, take the back part of the Jeep and fold it down like that. Take these, you got a tab here that's going to go into a slot here. And there you pretty much got the feet formed. Take these seats, bring them to the sides, and they'll flatten out. Now, make sure this stays up. The fists are down here. I love this part of the transformation because these are actually the arms and they peg in, well tab in, onto the back of the legs. Now you want to take the arms and just kind of take them and compress them accordion style. And then you can bring them up. And now you've got his hands. Take the front wheels and they are tabbed in right here. And you kind of want to straighten them out. Just get them out of the way for now. Take the arms and just roll them over this joint, do a 180, so that part's flat back here. Same thing with the other side. And you can take the arms and pull them down like that. That'll expose that elbow joint for you. Next thing you want to do is take the wheels and bring them in. So I always have a little trouble with this. You want to get this part in here. But, oh, first you need to take the head out of here. Because the wheels are going to fill in that gap. If you put them in there, you can't get the head out. So you want to put them in there like that. Almost kind of like classic sound, but just make sure that, that joint goes in there. And then you can bring the body down. Now here's another problem with the figure. Like none of this tabs in. Like, I understand this could be an ab joint, but none of this tabs, so it's just kind of loose. Sometimes it'll make you think it's tabbed in, and it's not actually. So, take this part here, half of the hood, and bring it down, and just bring the head up, and through that gap. And you can bring the hood section down, just kind of give the head a kind of a tug up here. And as you can see, there's a little lip right there. You can just bring the head back down so it kind of sits right on there. Bring the uh, little fenders up onto the body and fold these in. And there you have Hound in his robot mode or gun dog. And yeah, he's a really solid, solid looking hound. I like him. Um... Now, as far as he was bigger in size in Jeep mode, that doesn't translate over when you go to robot mode. He is perfectly in scale with other Masterpiece figures. Maybe he's a little bit bigger than Prowl. Um, I know I shouldn't be doing comparisons right now. Here he is next to uh, Sun Surge. So yeah, one third party to another. So it, it goes okay when you're going back to robot mode. But otherwise, yeah, look at this guy here. Look at that head sculpt. Perfect boxy hound, got the star right there. 
nice shoulders. He is a little hindered up here in the shoulder articulation because these get in the way. Now you can move them up to get them out of the way. And be careful with these because I kind of stress mine a little bit. Make sure that these are out before and after. Go into robot mode. Make sure they're always out to the side. Yeah, the back, the back looks very clean, but like I said, none of this will tab. It just kind of goes all over the place. And it bothers me a little bit, but yeah, he's got some die cast here. I don't think die cast in the legs. So he's got he's pretty heavy. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and if I didn't show it, yeah, you fold the seats back up against his legs, which helps on the articulation. Granted, he does have better articulation if you get the seat out of the way and go a little bit further than just the 90 degrees that's allotted. So keep that in mind. I guess we're moving into articulation just because it's, it's there. Uh, the ankles will rock and go back and forth. You got a thigh swivel and a universal ball joint. He does have waist articulation. The head is on a nice ball joint. The arms are really cool because you have this joint here that will allow it to go out. You can go all the way around. You've got just a single elbow joint which is disappointing and there, his arms seem a little short but it's it's okay and of course you got wrist swivels and the fingers will open up as well now back to accessories and boy he has them you've got the tire which you can mount to his arm for like a little buckler you can also mount it to the front of these pegs here if you want to bring those out I don't like attaching that I know it's like the toy but you can attach it here just like you had it in vehicle mode. I usually just fold those in. And I like to store his, uh, his kind of shield on his back. Because you got two pegs back there. You can also take the gas can and put that on his um, boot as well. It's not so much uh, fitting in after you put the tire there. So I'll get to that in a second. You do have the gun, which has those masterpiece tabs. You can take it and pop it into his hand. And what I like to do, since he's got those missile launchers, you can either put it onto his arm, like where the buckler was. Oh, not that one. Not that one either. This one. So he's got like a little rocket launcher. I like to put it over here, like an ammo pack. So yeah, you can take the shoulder launcher, which has just a little slit right here, fold down the mirror, which makes the wheel just roll off in a way, and slide it between where the hood is, bring the windshield back up, and there you go. Put that tire back on there. I should have released these reviews on Monday. That would have been Make Toys Monday. Hashtag. Now the other gun, like I said, you can twist that handle around. It doesn't go in his hand as well as the other gun. It doesn't have tabs. What you can do is just kind of wedge it in there. You can also, it does have uh, mounting points. You can put it on his forearm on the other side, which has that slot. But I don't like putting that there. I like to just put it in the sand. And now he is a gun dog. Kind of reminds me of like Movie Hound. It has all the guns. All of the guns. <laughs> also comparison, here he is with Ironhide. A recent figure there. Here he is with Prime. And also I want to compare him to his Mick Toys brother, Hellfire. So yeah, really good set here. Uh, I like how these guys look. You would think they just belong on a recipe shelf. They, they're that good. Mick Toys has gone out of their way to make some really good figures here and it's just, it's that great. So if you can, go ahead and get these guys, but yeah, I definitely recommend picking up Gundog, mostly. He is a little out of scale in Jeep mode, but he makes up for it in his robot mode and just, just gets everything right with Hound. I just need to get a couple repro labels, and he will be good to go. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, check out SCNS Live, our other shows. But until next time, guys, I will catch you later.